So Kamala's ridiculousness and her absolute cringe fest leads to these polls. Put the first one up for me. Here's some polls for you. I didn't make it, guys. What did I say? 10 10? Yeah. 10 10. I didn't make it. <laughs> News flash. We need to like do that every night. Tom didn't make it. I didn't make it. <laughs> I got to put it on the bottom of the yeah, Chiron. Yeah, there. it could be a Chiron. News flash. Tom didn't <laughs> yeah. make it. So interactive polls. Quinniac October poll. October polling full field. Georgia. Here we are. This is the most recent polls. Georgia, Trump, 5245. <laughs> if Trump was down one point in all of these, he'd be actually be winning. Trump up in Michigan, 5847. Wisconsin, 4846. North Carolina, that's bogus. There's no way he's down in North Carolina. Pennsylvania, most other polls are showing him tied, but this is Quinny Piac. All right, let's go to the next one, Ness. I don't even know where I'm at. All right, Eric Doherty tweet. Breaking new poll of Catholic voters. Hmm. I wonder why they... Hey, Aaron, do you want to get our video out? I wonder why Catholic voters feel this way. Aaron, you, you can put it up whenever you get it because I'm going to play it as soon as you throw it up there. Okay. I wonder why Catholic voters feel this way. Now, you, this, this is obviously from um, this week. Breaking new poll of Catholic voters finds Trump advantage is strongest in Wisconsin and Michigan. Trump plus 18 and plus 12. Across the battleground states, he leads among white Catholics by 16 points. Trump's rise in Catholic support is re uh, reminiscent. Uh, re what is that? How do you pronounce that word? Reminiscent. Uh, rem reminiscent. Yeah, sometimes I just freeze with the word. Reminiscent of 2016. So that he's looking like he's grabbing 2016 uh, Catholic numbers. I wonder why. Play it for me. So back to those numbers, Naz. You put that slide back up for me from Eric Doherty. So I wonder why he's getting the numbers like 2016, especially in what state? Michigan, because you have wretched witless giving Dorito communion to somebody who looks like a porn star and probably is. I'm trying to remember what she is. I don't pay attention to any of those things. So, I mean, it's just very odd. I mean, very odd that the numbers are just cascading downward. And then Kamala Harris doesn't show up to the Jewish and Catholic charities Al Smith dinner. It's a Catholic charities, but a lot of Jewish people come and support it. Al Smith dinner in NYC yesterday doesn't show up for it. I wonder why Trump is getting 2016 numbers now and is suddenly surging because... The Harris campaign is blowing off Catholics. And as Jim Gaffigan said, devote, devout Democrat says that, you know what, since 22% of the American population is Catholic and you have the opportunity to speak at a Catholic charities dinner, you might want to do it. Well, you know what? She's not, so she's losing. And, and you know, you just wonder, who's running her campaign? Who's running her campaign? We all saw at Ethel Kennedy's funeral the other day. We saw that at the funeral. Not her at the funeral, but we saw people at the funeral. He saw Obama having a serious talk with Biden, probably sitting there going, who's running this idiot's campaign? Who's running this idiot's campaign? Unbelievable. Um, let's go to the next one. Lee Report tweet. Break, uh, breaking. Trump has reached a record high against Kamala Harris with a 16.44 lead, according to Pauli Marcus. That has now gone up in the last couple of days. Trump is now over 60%, and she's just barely under 40. That has now gone up. Basically, that's Vegas odds of Trump winning.